Hey, it's Ross Whedon, from Robo Global Greater. We're playing Red Markets, uh, session two of the playtest campaign, uh, The Brutalists. Uh, uh, three, because we did character. character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, I guess or 2.5. Depending so. on how you combine them. Yeah. Uh, so this is the, oh, the... It's definitely the final part of the impossible closure job. <laughs> one way or the other. One way or the other. Yeah. Uh, so, <clears throat> to recap, they figured out that the project in the dam was a uh, burgeoning mine uploading uh, project that may or may not have worked or it may just have horrifically killed some people and made a fancy chatbot. <laughs> no one is really sure and no one really has the wherewithal or ability to find out. Uh, however, people are going to want to find out and that is marketable. So, uh, uh, well, actually, there is one thing I wanted to ask them before we got started, because um, I re I remember uh, that there are certain types of mathematical problems that people can do that computers cannot be programmed to do easily. And like the the e that's p equals uh, np the traveling salesman problem, where you're like, oh, if you're starting San Francisco, what's the quickest way to get new to New York? Um, from what I remember, so. Uh, I just want to ask them if they can solve... Have you made any progress on P equals NP? Do they have any uh, answer for that? Uh, yes. It is, again, a copy and paste from one of their papers. Okay. Because they are... The, again, the problem is that they are yeah. cognitive evolutionary psychologists and neurosurgeons, and they no. know all the stuff you know that you would to Turing them. Yeah. And so they've already written about it. Okay. And they know how they would have answered it before... They were uploaded. Okay. So, did they program it in? Is it in there? Okay. Where is it being sponsored? But they it's haven't made any progress. Yeah. Uh, yeah. They have not. Okay. Fair enough. Then we're gonna show. Hey, <clears throat> like the next sentence is true. The previous <laughs> sentence was false. I'll wait till you're ex you explode. <laughs> I don't think. They, I think they probably have a, f a fix for that. They, you know, you don't get to be Skynet. Well, it depends on if the game goes late or not. Yeah. If not, you can do that, and the dam will blow up. <laughs> they, they have paradox. Well, they will have burn paradox all my reason. notebooks and sob. Uh, so, uh, <clears throat> anyway, uh, after discovering them, uh, you realize that Rebecca Lefevers, which is uh, Cyber Lefevers' ex-wife, uh, is. Horribly jealous and angry at the professional and very unprofessional relationship he had with Dr. Botfi uh, as they uploaded themselves into digital heaven, uh, or so they believed. So the job she wanted you to do was to take it casually, upload its brain, and put it in there with them, and then shut the door and leave it running for eternity. Uh, <clears throat> this is complicated by the American snipers, who are just living off the land, you know, and you want to say crickets in, in the woods for five years. Uh, oh, that's good protein. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, so they probably want a place to hang out, and considering their military skills, uh, if they were to get someplace as defensible as a dam, they could probably start a small enclave and would be respectful, but that would negate Rebecca's job. Uh, your uh, plan, as we left, for Qualoon, Malleus, IP, and I forgot what was your name again? Uh, David? Just call me Moff. Moff. The maw of hand. Uh, the, the brutalist plan was to sell the project out to the DHQS because they don't know that Lefevre has had any success or even got back to the base. Uh, so uh, the problem with that is that the American snipers may disagree and the DHQS will try and kill you rather than pay you. Uh, so in thinking about how to do this, I realize that the negotiation tactics you're going to get into are not really going to be with the DHQS. That's going to be a simple negotiation. They will have so much money that they can convert into bounty because they use real currency over there in the world uh, <laughs> and not dead people's driver's license. So they'll have a lot, and it will be far more than you guys will be getting for the, the fever's job per person. But it will be what they have on them in a helicopter if they come to go see you when you message them. The real negotiation is, are the American snipers going to help, hinder, or try and murder you? Uh, so that will be the negotiation. So if I, I've altered the negotiation mechanic somewhat, uh, so on this side where we had 100% markup, uh, I have now placed total cooperation. These snipers are in, they're down for whatever plan you come up with. Uh, otherwise, you have partial cooperation, in which case it is peaceful. They don't all agree, but the ones that don't disagree are, are willing to go on. Civil War, which is partial cooperation, but it's uglier. 
Uh, fence sitting, which is they don't do shit until they find which way the wind's blowing. So it's all going to come down to a single check, and you don't have your will back yet. I have my will. Uh, you still have it left. Uh, yeah. Well, I'll be the one. Abandonment who is they just let you handle the DHQS by yourselves, and they'll be in for whatever happens later. No. And uh, Tony Scott ending, they just start shooting you right there, <laughs> and then total betrayal in which they they will try and black dolphin you. Uh, and I will know that, and you will know that out of character. Okay, Hopefully, back. your character makes the sensitivity roll if they decide on that. One. Yeah. Uh, so uh, <coughs> that is what it would be to get the American sniper side. Yeah. So that's the main negotiation mechanic. Then it's a matter of you deciding how you get the DHQS to realize that if they kill you, they don't get what they want. And I have a plan for that. That's fine. Yeah. So a uh, cunning plan. Yes. So you are all in the dam still. Yeah. Uh, you have the computer plugged in to Cyber Lefevers and Cyber Buffy, uh, Gasalt or Chatbot, whatever it is. So you can ask it any questions you have. Uh, you can go outside and wave down the snipers because you know they are watching you. Uh, and that's it. Um, so for the... Um, since this is a negotiation that we're trying to do, uh, we're... Are we doing the typical thing where, like, everyone... We do all the research as we would negotiate, like, the cutaway stuff? Uh, yeah, it is a scam. Yeah, okay. So, for instance, if... Um, Whoever's doing the talking wants to make an intimidation check. Yeah. And someone wants to give him a bonus. We cut to you shimming across the bottom of the dam, like hanging over the abyss. Yeah. To plant a mine under where they're all standing. Like, yeah. see what I mean? Uh, you you can you are in the dam currently, and you can play them as you wish. Uh, but it'll be up to when you reach the okay uh, negotiation. So there's it'll no be, point. It'll be non-linear. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Th- so there's no point in just like oh we we let's plan yeah, now out we can forever. No, you can't because that's meta gaming with the character sheet which you yeah. are encouraged to do. So yeah. like, what skill do I have, David? What tactic should you try and use? Uh, well, I will use foresight. Think like tag team. Yeah. Tactical best. Uh, I will use foresight to figure out what the best way is to uh, approach the American snipers. Uh, no, because that is a five versus a seven. Uh, and I, well, the thing is, I full willpower, but I don't know if I want to spend that yet or wait until the actual negotiation. Because you can tap a reference. Um, how many references do I have? Uh, what's your charm? Uh, one. Then you already tapped your reference. Yeah, so. <laughs> I can tap another one because if this comes out successful, we can pay them off. Yeah, easily. so, well, it's one and done. We can't all go around and roll foresight. So either so, you knew. Okay. Or you tap a reference. Okay. So. It's an intellectual action, so. One person rolls, and then otherwise you don't know. It's weird negotiating yeah, yeah. for a seed AI with a corrupt government organization and a group of rebel snipers living in the woods is new territory for you. <laughs> uh, I still have all three of my references, so I can have a reference. Okay. That. Who do you want to talk to? Who knows about tense gun laden negotiations more than anyone else? Gun smugglers? Gun well, dealers. Basically, you give me the NPC you want to see me play, and then I do it. Your Aunt Gertrude? The guy from Resident Evil 4, of course. I'll play it at a high <laughs> price. <laughs> NPC of the century. Uh, <laughs> R. Lee R. Me, who somehow survived. <laughs> I don't want to put that in Caleb's hand. <laughs> um, one of my uh, former Enclave members that made it out. What's his name? Labrusco. Labruska. <laughs> all right. Uh, all right. Uh, burn a charge on your specs. Charge burned. All right. You call. Hello. Uh, hey, lab. It's me. Oh. Uh, oh. What? What's wrong? Do I always have to call you when something's wrong? I mean, sometimes I like to call and chat, say hi, say hi, how are you doing, how's the family, what do you know about the American snipers? Not well. You saw them. They're not well. They made it out. <laughs> it's better than everybody else's family. If you could call it that. <laughs> what happened? Jeez. So this is the, yeah. out of character, this is the point of the reference system. You tell me what you want to know. I get to determine... 
your past relationship somewhat in how the person acts to you. I don't get to say what actually happened, so maybe he has a bad perception of David. David's still in control of what actually happened to his character. But he's not in control of how NPCs feel about him. So uh, that's that's the cost of the reference system. Timmy got thrown from the fence. <laughs> <laughs> Timmy's not a zombie. Timmy don't walk. <laughs> oh, he just broke his leg. <laughs> he doesn't walk well, but, but he walks. Yeah. So what do you want? Well, you didn't have what do you know about the American snipers? Oh, uh, what? The, the, the group. Um, I know you had feelers out with pretty much every enclave out there. You've got to have heard of these guys. Not an enclave. They sound like rebels. Are they rebels? Um, yeah, rebels would be a good description for them. Oh, uh, well, I mean, they're rebels. They all have different names, like Simplify, SPQR, whatever you, you know. They're all... Gung ho America, let's go kill America for destroying America. America's involved, is what I'm saying. Uh, but they're all kind of the same. What do you need to know about them? Well, um, there's going to be a negotiation involved soon, and it's going to involve a lot of guns on their side. The plus side is that when they shoot at me, if they shoot at me, um, I will never know the bullet's coming. Yeah. In fact, it'll start three miles away. I won't even hear the report before it buries itself in my skull. So, uh, I want to see if I can find a way to approach them and not get bulleted. So there's a chance they'll be shot for this? Pretty good chance. I'd say about 50-50. Alright, well then you gotta pay me for this. Up front. Alright. <laughs> so, you don't have to tap him as needy, but you have to pay up front due to your tough spot. Because uh, your former Inclovis background, that's fine, uh, and I will give you a will for it, but if you're going to go die, he's not going to take it on debit. Makes perfect sense. <laughs> yep. Very pragmatic. Um, so how do I do that? Do I take it to Do you have any bounty? In my bank, yes. Then remove one from your bank. Done and done. And you get a will, because I'm breaking the rules against you. Uh, uh, so, uh, he says, well... Um, you said they're snipers, right? Right. That means they're probably not grunts. They were probably home on rotation from one of the foreign world wars. They probably send them in to do special jobs, so they're not going to be dumb. So make sure if they kill you, they don't get what they want. So whatever you're negotiating for, lock it up, rig it to blow. Whatever is going to happen, happens if you go down. That'd be the best way to get them to even start talking to you. Because if there's a way to kill you and get what they want, that's faster and they can do it by telecom. Where's the trust? <laughs> Where's the love, man? Uh, so, yes, I would ensure that whatever they want is assuredly not going to be something they get if you go down. Easily done. Um... Well, not easily, easily, but <laughs> easy-ish. Easy peasy. David, we might want to double down on the pl- or combine the plan that we were th- you and I were thinking of. Yeah. Uh, All right. So, out of character, you could call the DHQS now and be like, "Yeah, you kill us and take it." But then, well, first we attack. They're going to be here in an hour or so, and then yeah. you guys are all fucked. Or it could be you rig it to blow and close the door. And be like, well, you got 30 minutes to talk to me. And or kill me and get through that door. Or else you're not going to get okay. in. You know what I mean? Um, or we could just leave one of us down there and we hear gunshots and he just pushes the button. Because yeah, they, 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 no, they have no incentive to talk to you if you're not going to just give it to I'll them. I'll be the one down there with yeah. the button. So, there's yeah. Some. Remember, I'm already dead. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah. I would allow you a foresight roll, considering your uh, struggles thus far. Uh, okay. Is that on here? Yes, under <laughs> intelligence. There it is. Uh, I just I don't have anything. You don't have anything. All right. Huh. Then, I don't really think about the future all that much. <laughs> Uh, I would allow every in, one person a foresight roll based on Tom's experiences okay. thus far in the game. What with being covered in an explosive Is yours three? Uh, mine's one. Oh, is yours three? Yeah. Mine is yeah, three. Yeah, go for it. So. Uh, let's see here. Ties go to the market. Yep. Uh, screw it. I'll spend that extra. I'll flip that. Okay. So, so well. Yeah, yeah. 
Uh, you want the Leighton outside. Okay. Because if they don't get a headshot on him, yeah. they've like, got a whole new set of problems. Second okay. bomb, basically. You would get a bonus for him about Particularly there. if we could finally just like a helmet. Yeah, put a helmet on him yeah. and you don't want to shoot that guy. <laughs> well <laughs> He's and, already wired to, wired for speed. Yeah. Like yeah, that's why and, he's got black veins all over him. Also, with the bomb collar, did we determine what the full yield on that was? It was it just personal it's enough to decapitate a person. A, yeah. a decapitate a person. Right, so which is may, more than enough like shoot to charge ruin a uh, single mainframe or server unit. We're not. No, 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 no. That doesn't matter. Like we, what we'd use the explosives for are on the turbines to. Fuck yeah, the snipers it. don't know anything about cyber lefevers. Yeah, they yeah. know it's a dam with functioning turbines that they can't get inside. Yeah, uh, that they would really like to get inside. Do we have access to the turbine controls? Yeah, we have. Oh yeah, yeah. You want to go down there? Yeah. That'd be part of the scam. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have. That's. I mean, that's our leverage over both forces that we fuck up. We, we we can use our explosives to fuck it up. Like I made a mechanics check last time to figure out how to like. Yeah. We we know how to sabotage it. So what yeah. do we have to do to actually? Uh, your mechanic sex, you'd be better off the denial drawer jams and the carbon fiber. Yeah. Set those off near the turbines. The carbon fiber right, wraps around the turbines. Oh, and, yeah. and then it's way them. worse than exploding it. Yeah. It It'll just tear spools around it and it tears itself apart. So yeah. it won't just be like, we need to get a new turbine. It'll be I like, about those mines. tear yes. the whole thing up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'll, we could go down there and take care of that. So yeah, well, yeah. What do we have to do to actually do that? I mean, to get them in position. Uh, well, uh, that is a different mechanics check altogether. Okay, because that's a hydroelectric dam. I will allow multiple versions on this. That is a hydroelectric dam. Three, three, three nine of the same. So, uh, yes, uh, seven over one. These are entirely automated systems that are meant to last a long time. So the access for repairmen is not so great. Think John McClane and Die Hard. Lots of very tight, tight corridors and very fast, deadly spinning machinery. Uh, It it will not be easy. It was meant for maximum uh, self-sufficiency. So it clears out its own waste. It blows out its own clogs. Which includes you. Yeah, which includes you if you don't step the right way. So that will be a dangerous piece of work. Well, wouldn't there be? Uh, it's like wouldn't there be worker maintenance access tunnels that for me at, at least? That, that's what he's describing. Uh, yes, oh, I that's know they're what I am, okay. but they normally shut it down. If you okay. shut it down, where Sir, does cyber yeah. fevers go? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they don't have batteries. Yeah, yeah exactly. As far so, as we know, so. No, we know. We can see right there. It's not. <laughs> they typically don't work with it while it's on. Yeah. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> so we'd have to do that. So be what athletics, I guess. We. Can... Uh, yes, that would be multiple tests for the person. Yeah, just keep in mind, if I fall, in, if I fall into something, my awesomely blighted blood's going to go everywhere. Well, no. That's... Well, water kills it actually, so you're good. No, thank God for that. Yeah, but you um, need me outside. Yeah, you need me yeah, outside. So, With the helmet. Yeah. But the thing is, we have the door jams. We we don't actually have to do it. We could just say we've done it and like say, show a photo of the door jams. Like, That's just a matter of the skills. Yeah, deception. That you use in the negotiation. Does that, who does anybody? No, nobody here can like. I have I've one. Been, I have one in deception. Huh? And how many do you have? I've got two. So I can help help him with well, that. Well, scams can be used to give bonuses to rolls. Yeah. So, um, it could be. We can take a photo of the door jams and say, "See, we have four yeah. of them. Mm-hmm. We can, we can, we." It's too dark down there to take <laughs> a photo. Licking them. Yeah. <laughs> like, uh, well, well, actually, we still have one in the backpack saying, uh, "Saying we came across a whole stash of these no. and decided we needed to use them for something." But why would we put it in a backpack? We just take well, a photo of them in the plant, like in, like, see, look, door jam goes in. Well, keep in mind, you don't know who you're dealing with yet, so yeah. you don't know their spots. Yeah. Uh, so there's all that kind of stuff too. Yeah, I say we just take a photo of it, like in f- with the tunnel open. Like, see, we can put the, we can just throw it, and we can actually lie about the mechanical stuff. All we have to do is push a button, throw that down there, and the turbine blows up um, or gets fucked up. 
so we don't actually have to plan it. Yeah. Because in the worst case scenario, who, whoever stays down here can just close the door and then fuck it up as a, a last fuck you before you know <laughs> they open the door and kill us. <laughs> well, they're not opening the door because yeah, yeah. no one's opening the door without the key. Too. Yeah. So you could just say like, well, I'm not opening the door. Yeah. Uh, and hope they don't torture you. Yeah. Uh, so th- that's another option. Yeah. Uh, so I say we don't actually risk our like, lives to plant the George torture Gems. Me? We just take me? photos of the George Gems to prove that we can do it if we want to. Uh, and that, yeah, once we lock ourselves in there, you can't stop us from destroying the dam. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so that's our leverage. Uh, I mean, that's pra- that's the same thing. It's just we don't have to. Uh, you can also network. That could be part of the scam. But Does anybody have networking above a one? I... I don't. Have I only have one. So, <laughs> do you have, although oh, I do I've have, it at three. No I do have more. I do have Game more contacts network. because I do yes, have more I would contacts love to because network. of networking is awesome. So, uh, what do we want to do on that? Just make the roll and see if you I don't know who the leader is. Yeah, and you don't know his or her spots. Yeah, so let's find out who. So you. spots determined in negotiation are sensitivity checks, and that's a turn. So you lose. Uh, Three over one, or actually six over one with the networking. All right, who knows specifically about the American snipers? So who knows about this little used rebel faction operating in northern Illinois? Are you for guy? Sells them guns. I'll sell it at a high price. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. I will play whatever NPC you want me to play. Dirt the NPC game. Yeah, let's go with that one. <laughs> Former gun dealer. Former gun dealer. Uh, I will say that is his actual name that you know him by. Former gun. Uh, he is <laughs> former gun dealer. He is former gun dealer. A webcam pops on. It is a dark <laughs> silhouette in, in a black room. And Gage? A voice modulator. Yeah. Yes. Gage. <laughs> hey, uh, it's me again. Oh, how's the piece working out? Actually, surprisingly well. Um, has of course, it is. <laughs> You, you do quality work. What can I say? I know um, I do. <laughs> you need more ammo? You need another piece? Mods? I got mods. I put a silencer on a light machine gun once. I don't Sounds know why. <laughs> I just want to see if it would work. Sounds like did a it, fart. Did it work? <laughs> <laughs> it didn't really, but it was really long. It looked cool. <laughs> I suppose there's that. Um... No, I'm actually uh, inquiring if you've done any work for a group called the American Snipers. Uh, those guys use a lot of long arms, and they're really, really good with them. So I immediately thought of you. Ah, yeah. Uh, I don't like to talk about my clientele very much. Why do you need to know? Well, it's unprofessional. I might be catching a bullet in the head. We're talking to. We're just talking to them. Well, yeah, I know we're just talking to them, but as I said, chances of catching a bullet in the head are 50-50 at this point. Anything that I can find that's going to reduce that ratio is going to be helpful. Um, if you could tell me who I should be talking to, that would be great. Um, uh, I can tell you that much. Uh, they're, they're led by a guy who calls himself Masada. <laughs> really? I got a good really? feeling about this. We are fucked. He sounds reasonable. This was your idea. I know. <laughs> hey, we're getting to trust new game mechanics for uh, red markets. Well, it, it's. Awesome. I think it's selling something that we're blocking ourselves in <laughs> an impenetrable fortress with no way out. I've been listening to History of Rome, man. <laughs> Give me a break. Yeah, could, yeah. Would you rather him pick Caligula? <laughs> but at least you know where he's coming from. He himself near Rome. Yeah. <laughs> No. Well, buys a lot of flamethrowers. It's weird. <laughs> and a violin. <laughs> uh, no. He calls himself Masada. Uh, he's actually not an American. Uh, he's a sniper, though. Oh, boy, is he a sniper. Uh, yeah. Uh, he, he is Israeli Special Forces. He was in a joint training operation when the crash went down. Uh, he took to the field. Uh, and apparently he is hardcore enough to earn the respect of all of those hardcore killers uh, once the command structure goes off. So they do what he says. Okay, and having read Why the Last Man, you're just making me more nervous now. When you hear Israeli Special Forces, you're supposed to get more nervous. But yeah. Yeah, that's, that's you're that's kind of the point. post-apocalyptic. <laughs> yeah. That means way more Americans nervous. Americans train with targets. Israelis just look over the wall. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> Am I wrong? No, you're, you're not. not wrong. No, you're not, but still. Uh, oh. They bombed a bus. Time to get rid of this missile surplus. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah. Anyway. Don't you hate it when you have too many missiles? <laughs> yeah. They are piling up this place. <laughs> Dripping over missiles. Uh, uh, time to right, liquidate. Yeah. <laughs> so that was for free. For uh, free. For free. So uh, if, if you want a spot, that's unprofessional. And you need to make it worth his while. You'd offer a bounty for some... Well, no, you, it's a bounty. He becomes a needy reference that has okay. to be paid off. But that would be a bounty later. So. Yeah, that's a bounty later. No, I'll pay him up front, because, like I said, bullet, skull, okay. likely. Okay. But no, that, see, that's the thing. No, thing. no, Masada, more likely. <laughs> the thing, think about us. Pay, put it on debt, pay it on layaway, and then we can loot your corpse, and your debt dies with you. So you're really helping the team. You're, you're killing the team, right? <laughs> <laughs> your debt dies with you. <laughs> Come on, David. I, like, just... I feel like you guys should go get a tattoo of that. Event. <laughs> just on your arm. <laughs> your death dies with you. The one comforting thought. Your death is your fortune. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. So that's somewhat helpful and also a little bit more scary. Um, you said he's former Mossad? And uh, he managed to intimidate these guys. Israeli special forces. Yeah. Mossad. If they're Mossad, they don't tell you they're Mossad. Point. <laughs> so I would not know. Well, do you at least know what he likes to talk about other than, I need this gun, it needs to be able to shoot bullet. Are you willing to pay? Yes. All right, I'm not hurting myself here. He doesn't do a lot of business with me. He's pretty one-shot, pretty... One shot, one kill. Uh, he's not quite as bad as those believers who think the casualties are holy and need to be herded and not hurt. But uh, he doesn't waste time with them. He, if he kills, he seems pretty tired of it. He's not wild gun show. They seem like a pretty professional operation. So he needs to know there's no profit in killing you. Past that, I would be respectful. Very respectful. Keep it professional, keep it clean, cover your own ass, but beyond that, do not push it. They take honor very highly out here, uh, and he's from Israel. If you slap him, he's going to shoot you with a howitzer. Like, it's not, it's not, it's uneven force. These, those boys like it that way. So keep, keep it civil past what you need to do to keep yourself safe. Right. Don't try to go friendly. Yeah. Don't treat him like PCs typically treat NPCs. <laughs> yes. That would be a bad idea. Fight your instincts. <laughs> My instincts are screaming, I should run away. I mean, Masada, that is a name to run away from very fast. Yeah. And zigzag. <laughs> or to stay at. Yeah. yeah. Forever. Yeah. Oh, come on. Um, it could have been like Khal Drogo or something. <laughs> Khal Drogo. <laughs> we, just have to, we just have to scratch him. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You just need a witch. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Those are all over the place. Yeah. We've got Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> yes. What? Albatross. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. This is so not Lord of the you, Peace. You know his weak spot? Uh, so he is... <laughs> Hyper vengeful is what I'm going to call it. Don't make any lasting slights. If you make it clear that you're trying to be as polite as possible, he will do so in kind. Yeah, like, you know the like you know America didn't screw you enough. <laughs> like, how's that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Let, let me do the talking. <laughs> well, one person does the talking. Everybody else. I'm the only one with it. will left. So <laughs> uh, I've got one. Okay, well then. I gained one So, back. yeah, right. at this point, uh, who's doing the negotiation? In between rounds, we can come up with scams. That's going to be me. Because we don't okay. want to plan to. Yeah, the last thing I want to do is do the talking. <laughs> well, and also, I was going to ask, what's your uh, persuasion, sensitivity, and deception at? Uh, persuasion, three. Sensitivity, three. And deception, two. Okay. Okay. So sensitivity could read a spot. Yeah. That is good. All right, who's going out and who's staying down? Uh, I'll say you took the pictures already, so that won't count as a scam turn. Yeah. Right. Uh, He goes out. um... And my gun is going to stay with you. 
Okay. Um, do you I'm, want me to stay up, uh, stay upside, so I can give credence to technical? No. Uh, well, one of us should, but the other one should stay down. So I'll go um, up, and you can stay down. Doot, I'm actually thinking the both of you should stay inside. Okay. Doot. It should just be me and Malleus over there going. All right, inside. I gave you guys two turns, so you start all the way down a total betrayal. Okay. Okay. Now remember, if you exploit a spot or do something of that nature, you can jump to. Two sway, all right? Okay. And two sway is the only way to push somebody that's only pushing it one sway. So one sway against one sway, you stay heads up, nobody goes against each other. And just so we're clear, what we're actually negotiating for is to tell them we're going to contact DHSQ, they will take the computers out, but then they will leave, and then the place is yours. That, or you could be like, we're, con- we're contacting DHQS. Yeah. They will take you back in. You all have highly good skills. They're okay. going to pretend you're not homo or you become citizens, unlike us. Oh, that would better, students. Yeah, yeah that probably. Uh, but they might be resentful. Basically, it doesn't matter what tactic you take. You have to make sure that they believe that they want, risking yeah. a helicopter strike yeah. and supporting you is going to be more profitable than just ending you right there and going about their day. So you convince them there's profit in it. Like okay. anything else. Okay, so we ask them what they would rather want. Yeah, yeah. So we yeah. Want the, give them yeah. the options. So, so that would probably be a soft spot. Okay, so that would be the first thing is to figure out to ask him and then make your sensitivity check to find out what he really wants. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, well, I think the first thing is going to be persuading until we get those dice close enough, and then I do the sensitivity and then try to sway him. Um, well, you're you, don't, you get to determine tactics because you're the one on the field. But we don't know what he wants. I mean, like yeah, we need to. Figure we it. need to. I think that. Well, here's the main thing: you don't know how long it's going to last, so you got to make a leadership test. All right. Um, eleven over one. All right. You will last for five rounds. Okay. The black divided by two. If you succeed. If okay. you don't succeed, I roll, and it's whatever I say it is. So, yeah, I would do the sensitive first, because then you could use, then immediately exploit that for more yeah. pushes. So, All right. Uh, All right, so... The hyper-vigil... What, what, that was his tough spot, you're saying? That's his, uh, uh, that's his weak, weak spot. spot. hyper oh, okay, weak. That's his character flaw. Okay, so yeah. soft is what he wants, and tough is what he's yeah. doing. Tough, we got a hint that, you know... Well, you can also exploit his weak spot, is find somebody who wronged him, and tell him that they will be fucked over by doing what you say. Like, yeah. that, that's another way to exploit the spot. Actually, we know somebody who wronged him. Um, Dr. Mrs. Lefevre. Were they? Was do we know that they were contacted by Lefevers? Yeah, she specifically said that that was the group that they had dealt with before. Yes, okay. Altoid did not give them the job, as if she saw yeah. some of this coming. Yeah. Uh, so, yeah. well, it's too tasty, uh, <laughs> and it it, belo- it belongs in a museum, <laughs> kind of. We're well, really in an IG lab, but <laughs> those don't exist here. And, yeah. All right. Uh, so you all come out to the dam. Uh, it is uh, Mauve up front, Malleus with his hammer. Mm-hmm. Uh, handkerchief in hand? <clears throat> with a hand. Can, I, can, I, who is can I get a helmet for this? I guess I'm downstairs. So. Where? Hard hat. Where? Where is it? In the lab. Uh, in the building. In the they, dam. They didn't use hard hats in okay. the dam. That is just OSHA wrong. Man. They weren't working at the dam. They were working at the secret government server lab inside the dam. So, is there a random bucket we could put on his head? No. Would you like to put a bucket on your head? Sure. That's going to stop a depleted <laughs> uranium bullet from a fifty cal. You're fine. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, really, yeah, and, and outside of a Kevlar helmet, so yeah. which we don't have because that would cause bounty. Uh, <laughs> Who's inside? Uh, I am. All right, IP's inside, uh, and then Kualun is out there. Yeah, uh, trying not to be himself, I suppose. Uh, well, I mean, the thing is, can I make any skill checks while I'm down there, or am I basically? You can make. You have made skill checks before. Okay. Down there. So yeah. keep in mind, this is not linear. So okay. it's well, Ocean's yeah, Eleven heights. Okay. Like it looks like it's about to go off the rails, and then flashback to okay. what that smart did, so. thing Kowloon did before. I'll be I'll be a little ways off. So like you're right deep. inside the door, ready to yeah, slam yeah. it shut. Yeah. Yeah. And well, you guys have the code. Ways. You can slam it shut whenever you want. Yeah. 
And you can get out. It's not like they're not letting anyone get out. There's a, just a button. No, I'm just yeah. staying yeah. down. Yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'll be the one nearby so I can yell if there's a betrayal. So. What's, this, what's the code? <laughs> it's just an inarticulate scream. <laughs> All right. So uh, you just see a lone man standing at the edge of the dam uh, with a hunter's carry across a very... Oh, hell, there's only one of them. Let's just take him out. Rifle. <laughs> Uh, he has a large black beard that appears entirely untrimmed and is filled with foliage of all type. Uh, he is wearing a kfeya, and he has dead, dead eyes. And he's just standing there patiently watching you. He doesn't draw. He doesn't run at you. He doesn't look like he's all right. at all. So we're I'm taking, going we're... to approach, make sure my hands are plainly visible the entire time. Let's my take best. God, he's gone full So I will so. say that this negotiation, has a, this negotiation has a special context, which is a rule I need to add in the negotiation. Is that you can waste a turn on moving price to get the snipers down. That's your special contacts. If you waste a turn with a move and you don't use it to move on the list, but you use it to... Y'all come down from the trees where you're going to shoot us. If things go bad, it could go better for you combat-wise. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. It does. So I don't do you want to do you want to invest in insurance or do you want to invest in you know something? <laughs> I would say go all in. You know, in a blackjack <laughs> yeah, table, the dealer asked me if I want insurance when his up card is a face card or a du- an ace. Like, no way you have a blackjack there. Fair enough. But then I we're fine. Everything's fine. The letter doesn't have a gun. Well, so. let's ta- let's take bets. <laughs> Let, let's all take some bets. How many sniper scopes are on us right now? <laughs> I say it does. I'm saying all of them. It's probably not that many guys. All right, so uh, you walk up towards him. He walks up to you. Uh, start with a persuade check. Uh, hello. Oh, wait. What are you saying? Yeah, yeah. You you can give context to the negotiation. Okay. First. He doesn't know your negotiation. You might just be saying, "Hey, we're Masada. done. It's all yours." So Masada, I presume. Uh, yes. Um, you can call me the Moth Hand. I'm... Uh, no. <laughs> no. No. Ten four. I'm going to go with that. Uh, or whatever you want to. Okay. Moth. I wanted to parlay for just a moment. Um, kind of explain the situation. We kind of made a deal with your boys regarding this dam, and I wanted to make sure that you were aware of all of the options. So you're done and you're leaving? Not yet. Um, that's where things get complicated. They said that about our evac. I've been here for five years. So, you obviously think you have a card, or you're too stupid and not worthy of the bullet we're about to put in you. So, what's your card? Well, there's something... this is negotiation. Okay. Start with persuasion, or uh, yeah, whatever you want to do. I would show him the photo of the door jams over the turbine. That would be using one of your props to get additional sway. So, yeah. you'd be so I guess up I, two instead of one. So, so did, did you want me to be the guy that here? I'll act as the runner for things yeah. to show him. <laughs> I'll walk here. It's not going to make much difference. Also, like, hey, actually, like, hey, it would do totally not good to shoot me when I'm so close to you because my blood is real nasty. I got cold. <laughs> I got like, a fever. I like I'm under pressure too. Like I'm an anime character if I'm not moving I just start spurting like a fire. Just like a sprinkler down here. Yeah. Get old fist of the North Star up in this. <laughs> my, my blood runs at a thousand PSI. Can you outrun that? Because the guy who calls himself Masada has seen Fist of the North Star. <laughs> no, but he's, he's a huge himself. anime fan. Yeah, hey, you don't know it, you don't it know how he kept his mind in the waste. No, uh, no my god, he was like, wait. Your friend is the DJ on that station? <laughs> I fucking love that station. You guys are all right. Uh, yes. well, Caleb will never allow that. Starting it slow. Um, persuasion to explain. We found something in that dam that the... You're not answering this question. DNHQ... Yeah, this is his card. That the DNHQ would be very interested in. And so because of that, the original job is... Kind of not going to work. So, there's two ways that this can go down, as I see it. One way, we call them. They come in. They take that stuff. They leave. We get paid. 
and then you've got this big empty dam with a working turbine. Perfect place to fort up. Or the other way, since you guys did such a wonderful, wonderful job in everything that you have done, and I do mean that. And you're beautiful people. <laughs> we mention you to them, and you guys are likely candidates for evac out of this hellhole. We are not. Okay. So that's your that's your play. That's a base persuasion on play. Uh, so you just need success. Uh, success, because that's 11 over 9. All right. No props, no scams. You move up one. Uh, his response... Well, it's certainly interesting, uh, but uh, since you're not telling me what's in there, other than it's valuable, I assume you have no intention of giving us access to it. So why shouldn't I just kill you and take it? He can move once away for free. So that's his move, uh, and he's not gauging you for sensitivity, so... He gets his one sway every round without rolling. Uh, if he needs to read you or something like that, then you roll for defense. Uh, so that's his response. We are one turn down. Four turns left. Does anyone want to run a scam? So, uh, let's see. If I can call your attention to the photo, my associate is... Well, hold on. Yeah, we, we all get our one scam per round, right? Yeah. It, yeah. So... Um, Let's see here. Um, research to um, something to leverage. Uh, something to mention. Oh, research to figure out uh, to mention something about how uh, highly skilled soldiers are in demand now. So it's they're they're shoe in if they want back. Okay. With uh, that. Roll research. Okay. That's what you did in the basement. Did it work or not? Uh, yes. Seven over six. Uh, yes. So uh, David also has access to a number of articles about uh, from underground news sites uh, calling for uh, reclamation of the rebels and uh, military assets due to fears of uh, Chinese invasions from the uh, abandoned West Coast or North Korean uh, agitation or Alaskan rebels. Uh, so basically, we must, you know. Bring as many of our veterans into the fold, especially those with experience in the loss, um, even though we have claimed they are dead for many years. Yeah. Uh, they are not uh, recognized by official channels, because, of course, it's enemy propaganda. Everyone out there is dead. But, uh, yeah. All right. So you have that. Uh, so you could bring up the photo. That'd be, uh, you could get a bonus on your roll, or you get your bonus from Sway. So um, props can be plus ones on rolls, or they can be... Bonuses on movement. I'm going to go for the bonus on movement. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you part of what's down there. Photo. Okay. Okay. Uh, so, uh, this is Intimidate. Okay. So. Eight over six. Eight over six. Uh, that is two sway. All right. I like to think of it as an insurance policy. I know that there is absolutely no way that I am going to be able to outshoot you, sir. Fair enough. Uh, So. They are not set off, though. The DHQS comes. What's to stop them from killing all of us? So, that's so he's entertaining that he can't just murder you to get what he wants. But your plan involves calling the guys with, you know, Hellfire missiles. Uh, well, we could tell him what it is down there and that it's a server that has to have the power on. It's very you delicate. You could do that. that. Um, or also, you could say that he is bound to get recruited. Well, yeah. or where's the bomb? Yeah, or you could what, say... Where, who had the bomb caller last, Tom? Did you have it? Well, we... Whoever had it, yeah. What, why? So... Uh, we have the direct shunt in there, correct, to, for the power line? That, does, uh, did that room have just a base, the lead down to the Embedded generators? in concrete. Okay. Yes. And so, we okay. can fuck up the dam. That does, it's like, yeah, the dam is fuck up. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's what the door jams will do. So, uh, so that was a round. Three rounds left. Yeah. Uh, Ross used to scam. Yeah. You guys got scams? So, 
Well, my idea on that was if we had the bomb collar specifically leading it into a... Oh, because I meant to ask, in addition to the medical equipment, was there also a pulse mon a heart monitor? Uh, yes. Um, putting it into the insurance policy that we take the uh, bomb collar, at least attach it to one of the servers, if they decide to kill us all... Uh, their little prize goes away with them if they take the person who's monitoring it down with them. And uh, wired one it. of the servers, yeah. Uh, if you put a bomb collar around a DDJ and actually install it on the turbine, you've got a kill switch. Yeah. Like, all right, shoot us. Yeah. But then this whole dam dies along with the reason you're out here. So. Uh, if you could rig that bomb and their helicopter when it lands, yeah, that'd be even better. So put the bomb collar on the rotor. All right, kill us. I hope you like it out here, because yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> also this is going to be really loud, and you can meet our friends. Like you know, so all of that is available. Uh, but that's for when the DHQS gets here. What do you want to do for the American snipers trying to kill you currently? Well, we already told them what we do. That we were talking about the dam. No, but the Masada asked us how our what how what our plan is for dealing with the, the with the DEA. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So your scam and could be getting that ready before. Yeah, that. doing okay. that. So, so it, yeah, that would work. So what skill? That means you actually went into the turbine and installed it because the DHQS is not going to respond to pictures. Okay. I have no athletics. So I'll problem. do it. I have to will. But that's that would not be your scam. Uh, I can't do two scams. I, no, you can't do okay. two scams. Everybody gets to participate. So, Tom, do you have athletics? I'm upstairs. No, you. This is ahead this of is, time. Yeah, this is like. Ocean's All right, all, it's like this is you. Flashback to you. So your part, part of ago. that could be installing, and I could actually set it up. Yeah. So it doesn't. So that would be that. Yeah, let's. See. Yeah, I'll do that. Why not? Tom gets a uh, will because of its birthday. <laughs> Capitalism doesn't care. <laughs> Son of a I tried, Tom. I tried. I tried. <laughs> How about, but I, I did. Capitalism does care about. <laughs> <laughs> but no will. Uh, all right. Uh, so you get crawling through tubes. Yeah. Uh, and, 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 like, How do I distract myself? I'm actually just done. 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 All right. All right. So. You look down uh, on what is a very, very precarious thing. So there is a air vent. Uh, it's very dark. Uh, you see the turbine uh, only through the light coming through the grates where the water is pouring through, uh, spinning drastically. So what usually happens is that when the turbine is shut down, a catwalk on the opposing walk moves down to the vent that you're currently at. Blocking the turbine from turning on while you're down there. You cross the catwalk and you go down and work on the turbine. You've got to jump uh, across of it as the turbine's running. Uh, grab the catwalk, shimmy down, and install it while the turbine's spinning. So close enough to the axle that it will fuck up the axle and tangle it, but not so close as to rip your own face off. Do you have Will? Will? Not anymore. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Well, I'd spin big of endurance then, sir, because yeah. it is athletics. Oh, yeah, you can totally do that. Yeah. But you're going to be... Why is your latent breathing so hard? <laughs> no reason. <laughs> just... spin three. I really like negotiations. Spin four. <laughs> Please spin four. Spin a lot. All right, fine. <laughs> It's to not die. <laughs> you want to hey, spin big. You know, like, you know how long I've been in death shadow. Yeah. <laughs> Can you be in it a little longer and not in it? <laughs> not actually dead. All right, here we go. All right. Let's go to the ice spin. Yeah. Eleven over ten. <laughs> Eleven over. Oh my god. 10. No wait. Yeah. I spent four. So yeah, yeah over four. If you spent three, ten. you would be dead. So <laughs> you leap across, clang, uh, <laughs> catch your fingers on the holes of the catwalk as the turbine <laughs> spins next kind of, to you. Kind of like, Fuck you. Uh, you say close enough. You jam the DDJ somewhere near the piston, and you uh, can, set the bomb collar. Yeah, something. you can crawl back out. All right, yeah. but it's, it's kind of like yeah, it's one of those. Just look upward, like, and then think about that. Then come back down, like. Yeah, we're all set. All right. And this like a, uh, a no, no, red no, alarm yeah. starts going off uh, shortly after they go outside. Not 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 blaring, but a red light comes on. 
check it to see what foreign material in the thing. Yeah. You don't have to check. What is it? Well, computer. Uh, yeah, yeah, you just need to talk to okay. a computer. Right. Uh, it's not a roll. What's the alert? Uh, the anti-terrorism bomb sniffing device has detected a foreign device. Oh uh, no! This was uh, this is actually part. It's like this was part of an implementary drill uh, that was done. In just, should we report this to the DHQS? No. This will is, this help us save us? Will this oh help wait, us save no, us? it will because that they'll know that it's we put a bomb there. <laughs> so the fevers is the one calling yeah. the DHQS. They're not going to fucking listen to you. Yeah. Okay, but then you're like right. crazy uh, you're cyber god. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Never mind. Go ahead. Yeah. So there right. is totes of bomb. You're absolutely right. Yeah, go ahead. Do no. you want him to push the alert to the whole dam? No. Uh, well, oh well, yeah, no. We want. It. Yeah, sure. Masada will see. Like, see, we could fuck this dam up. Is it going? Well, sorry. One. It, well, that's the problem. If it starts blaring a klaxon, is uh-huh. it going to start drawing casualties in? Yes, it will. Oh, okay. <laughs> then why? <laughs> well, you're so screaming. We well, you're screaming that loud. It's going to draw them too. <laughs> Okay, well then that's... All right, uh, and 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 it it be yeah. The other thing that the really loud klaxon and the flashing lights is going to do is going to make all of those snipers who are sitting up in those trees who are a little bit twitchy... Uh, dude, they're professionals. Twitchy-er. I had to, I had to try, yeah. all right? So, uh, <coughs> if you want the klaxons to go off, you don't have to roll persuade. <laughs> yeah. He will be persuaded. Uh, if you don't want the klaxons to go off, you have to roll persuade to use this spot and convince him that, no, we're legit. It's not just a fucking picture. Yeah. Uh, this button will blow the dam and make it useless. Well, no, I'll have the button and I'm by the sheltered doors. So yeah, like, that's fine. <laughs> as I, yeah. as I'd like to draw your attention to that gentleman over there. Yeah. Uh, You're not so, drawing attention well, wait, to anything. Can you ask, I would like to draw your attention. Tell the fevers, like, are there red lights as well, or is it just a klaxon? Like, lights won't draw the uh, The dam alarm will be... Okay, it's not a... Lights and noise. No, I'm not setting that off. Yeah. So. It, it, is like, a, it is a silent alarm because it is a okay. super secret government base. All right. You have to do a special button to make it a not silent alarm. Okay. Alarm! <laughs> yeah. Um, so what do you say, David? Third round. That was the Tom scam. Well, his question no, was, like, like, what do we want to do? <laughs> <laughs> well, his question was... Uh, What's to stop the DHQS from murdering us all when they get here? The fact that they know that that bomb is placed, and if we set it off, the dam is worthless to everyone. <laughs> all right, so with your spot, you're at one sway auto, so you'd be heads up if he sways against you. Uh, and with two sway, uh, you get a, if you get a success. Yeah. 11 over 9. Okay. 11 over 9. Is it storming? Yep. On the uh, So at two slice. Yeah. Uh, well, oh. they must really want what's in that in. dam then. Yes, they do. I stuck this. And in. Actually, I stuck this in my pocket. I'll make an agreement with you. Yeah. So you pushed him back. His one sway pushed him back. One, because you have yeah. to. If you side with us, I'll tell you what's in it. In fact, we'll even give you a guided tour as soon as I have your word. Okay. So is that your next round? Or is Aaron, do you have an idea for a scam? If you don't, you don't have to scam. Um, well, the only other thing I could think of... And you still have the reports that Ross found that haven't been used. Yeah. So uh, the only thing that I had, because we had the button specifically, but... Is there it's only... around the bomb collar now. Well, which no, is, that's fine, but yeah. it, it's just the signal, though. That's the thing, to intercept it, and that could be easily modified. Uh, is, was there only just one heart monitor in we, there? No, we just have a bomb. We have the, the bomb collars on the tr- door Aaron, the, the dam is rigged to go. Yeah, you don't have to worry you about that. You are all good on dam. No, my, no, I know that was rigged on the side. My concern was mainly if there was some other type of betrayal that could knock the or disable the... Yeah, uh, no one can get to it. Outside what? of us. They have to go through a small tunnel inside the dam. The controller that you're holding. Is I'm inside the door, so like they, yeah. you can see okay. me. So. so unless they snipe me, but even if I snipe me, you could get to me before anyone else could. Yeah. And they're going to have to snipe through 
really, really thick shatterproof glass because he's right inside. Well, I'm, above, I'm yeah, yeah, above, but yeah, it, it would be a bad idea. Yeah. So you can do something else, but that is taken care of. That would be trying to figure out one of his like we we know his tough and his soft spot or his you just know, know his, his weak spot. spot is hyper vengeful. Yeah. Yeah. So um, so you can try and figure out something else about him. And you're good because okay. you have not threatened him or any of his men yet. Yeah. Okay. You just said the thing that you want will go away. All right. Um, let's see. I don't think I. We don't have to do another scam. I know. We don't have to. So, although if you could find out what his uh, soft spot is, that would be really useful. Well, you've got another round, so I'll just move on with the next right, round. Yeah, so, so, what's your going to do this round, David? Well, Aaron thinks about it. But I'll give you a guided tour. After all, it is going to be either your new home or hand him the articles. Possibly not. All right. So you're going to push him back again. Yes. Uh, so you play your spot. So that's persuade again. You're being nice. You're being civil. Uh, that is 13 over 2. All right. You push him back. He can't go back any further. Uh, he does not push back. Uh, he holds his finger up to his earpiece and starts nodding. So roll deception. Oh, no. Wait for it, David. Not yet. He doesn't. He can He can see things on your own, whether it affects you as your deception. So he just spends that time nodding. And he's got a silent and lets it draw out. So this is the last round. Aaron, do you want to do a spot? So I could probably... S- uh, actually, yeah. I f- if I see them moving out, um, is there any way they could approach me from my position? They could shoot you. Well, aside from that. But, but no, <laughs> they, you have a big body of water yeah. on one side and a sheer drop-off on the other. Okay. Um, possibly having set up my camera on top side to watch the entire thing from my laptop since the when the door is open, so it wouldn't shut that off. Could I possibly roll sensitivity against him and see if I could get any, gain anything else? Uh, not against him. You could roll awareness to try and spot where the snipers are. Okay. That would be helpful. All right, I will do that. Uh, it would not help in the negotiation, but it might help if things go bad. Okay, I'll make sure I spend the Super War is just down here. So. Oh, my laptop's plugged in, so I shouldn't have to spend a charge on it. So. Yeah. Yay, constant electricity. Don't expect it off. <laughs> I know, no, this is this is a special occasion. So, all right, yes, 11 over 6. All right, you know where all the American snipers are on Masada's side. Okay. If they have somebody on the other side of the river. Kind of screwed, but you know, how many are we counting? Uh, you see two guarding him on either side of his flanks. Okay. One is up in a tree and in a ghillie suit. The other one is on the ground in underbrush. So, all right. All right. Uh, so, final round, David. What's your tactic? I'm going to lean on his weak spot. How are you going to do that? We don't know. Oh, it's yeah, hypervengeful. So. Uh, hypervengeful. Um, we haven't done anything to harm you. We haven't done anything against you or yours, but if you help us in this, I know that there's one particular client, the same one who hired us, as a matter of fact, who is really, really going to end up with egg on her face. All right, so you're moving against the fevers? Okay. So make your roll. 11 over 3. All right, you push 2. Uh, so that was a good move because he learned one of your spots and now he's going to push hard so that's one of your tactics in negotiation to make sure you get a pretty good price go way back and then once you can't be pushing you or use sensitivity and make a big push Uh, so he's going to push back hard so what are your spots David? Um, weak spot fatalist I'm already dead Mm -hmm. Uh, soft spot archivist save the tech Uh, tough spot true believer true believer okay um, he motions you closer. I know you want to die, but do your friends? I know my men don't. Is this going to end up like that little town you thought you were running, Mayor? Regular show. Uh, so, uh, he is trying to fuck with you and make you break. So, however, when they play spots on you, you get a chance to defend with deceptions that like, didn't bother me. <laughs> okay. Look, actually, walk it off. Walk it off. 
It's like, nope. So, I'm fine. Uh, make a deception check. You make it. You, whatever. If you don't, you blanch. Yeah. Ten over five. Dave's whatever. Everybody. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching, is he? I got it. Yeah. Mr. Masada, of course I'm dead. Why do you think I'm out here talking to you? Okay. You are walking death yourself. <clears throat> Homo secor. So yeah, we are the walking death. Uh, actually, I'm, I do. I'm looking like hardcore. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Raise the <I'm>, hammer. <laughs> uh, all right. This is a leadership check. So you make the leadership check. You come up to him. You fail the leadership check. He goes down to you, and you die slant even. Uh, so this is it. David, go! Yeah. That would be six over one. Six over one. All right. Uh, you go up to him. You're in total cooperation. Yay. Woo. You get to choose your fate. You either get a nice new home, or you get to go to your old home. Either way, you're not in hell anymore, Masada. Uh, okay. You're professional. I don't see a lot of that out here with you types. I'll give you that. Uh, the boys are getting a little weary. So here's the deal. We will help you as far as we can. But if they get on the copter, they're either taking us with you or you're paying us. Understood? Understood. Whatever they pay us, even shares all around. I can deal with that. So, Or you get on the chopper. And you can keep it. So that's the deal. They will all cooperate. So you now have five snipers at your disposal. Yay. For help with when the DHQS come. Uh, so I will let you plan on what you want to do and how you want to call them. Or how you want Lefevers to call them. Okay. And I'm going to go light something on fire because that's all ten right. years off my life. We'll take a break. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. And we're back. All right, so you've negotiated with the American snipers. They are in full cooperation. They are descending from the trees like scary sloths with guns, uh, moving very slowly and silently. Uh, They are also descending from the other side of the river um, and getting onto the dam. Uh, Masada says, "I, I assume I have to go in alone. Yeah. Actually, why not let them all in? Yep. They're with us now, aren't they? No, uh, no not a good idea. So, uh, so he, he puts his gun down, he takes off his sidearm. Uh, he pulls out a grenade, he pulls the pin. All right. Thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, thousand four. <laughs> all right, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> Perfectly sensible precaution. Um... If you would Don't like. worry, that grenade doesn't power enough to kill all of us. <laughs> Just you. <laughs> I hope, and yeah, hopefully not Tom. <laughs> um, Let's all. Hope. Assuming he does know I'm a late. Uh, yes. So, yes. He doesn't give a shit. <laughs> We're all dead. <laughs> well, so, so yeah, you take him down there, I yeah. guess. Uh, are you, how much are you going to explain? <laughs> we could show him the the, the uh, knifey cutty machine. And knifey dock. Knifey we dock. We call it knifey dock. Um, these, uh, they thought they could upload their minds into a computer and live forever inside a computer. I mean, we don't know if they actually, if it worked or not. It's but. created some semblance of an emulated mind state, but it's, we To be quite know. honest with you, Masada, that's far smarter than we would be because that's two multiple PhDs that have been uploaded in, so... We don't know if it actually worked or not. No, it's, no way it's far, sure. As far as we could tell, it's... It's giving basic reactions that can pass a Turing test, and it's citing uh, citing papers. I don't it. care if it works or not. Yeah, but does the DHQS know if it works or not? So mm. I, they wouldn't. They they would need scientists. They would need time to, to research it, it and lots of science. That's our trade off. So. Let's see. Here's the thing. But the technology itself. If it even, works, yeah. so they don't know. They don't know. But follow me on this. If it works. They've got a priceless piece of technology here. If it doesn't work, they've got enough computing power to store at least two brains worth of information. That's a lot. Uh, it does not matter to me. After yeah. five years, it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Uh, it could be God himself in the computer. I, d- I don't care. 
Uh, we can sell an empty box as long as the lid stays closed. Right. We need to be far gone when it opens. You know they will send a steward, yes? Have you met these men before? No. They are serious men. Even for times as these, serious men. Men such as this, back home in the service, we got them often due to the nature of the work. They were not allowed to advance past a certain rank for reasons of national security. They enjoy it quite a bit. In this crash world, I am not sure your government has done the same. Uh, these men hold much power, and they wield it very scarily. So please be careful. Uh, we are at your disposal. Uh, he puts a pin in. Uh, tell me where you need us to go. The way I see it, we have three solid bargaining chips to offer them. Number one, Dr. Lefevre Bati. Mm -hmm. Number two, you and your men. Number three, well, possibly two and a half. There is the chance that they will be doing more operations out here in the wastes. It's far better to have those that they have worked with in the past as opposed to people who assume that they are going to be shot on sight. Spoken like a man who's never worked for a steward before. But I understand what you're saying. Oh, you don't understand. Yes. I fully expect them to try to shoot us on sight. That's why I think I will live. Fair enough. Uh, so, uh, my suggestion would be to not to play all your cards at once. Uh, but at the same time, you they need to know you know how to play. Uh, so don't play so dumb that they think it's time to shoot. But at the same time, don't give them time to assess all your angles. Uh, there is nothing they fear more than being left here. The steward will take casualties. He'll feed mid into you and drop missiles on this place however much he can. He'll burn it down with napalm. But threaten to leave him out here. That is what they all truly fear. Uh, they remember the crash differently than us. So that would be my advice. So that's how we could best use you. You, you uh, so our helicopter, helicopter lands. You yeah. let him know that his fuel tanks are. Or just the rotors. Here. Yeah, yeah. We can. Your men can. Uh, uh, yeah, make a precision. Then tell him we can. You can end the uh, destroy the rotor and strand them here. So. As a matter of fact, um, I'm going to break out my uh, door jam, offer it to him. Do you think one of your men would be able to put this by the rotor? Uh, they will have imaging software. They will have thermals. They will see us if we are anywhere near the helicopter when it lands. We need to ensure they're not scanning if we're Besides, yeah, close I, enough to get that close. Never, yeah, never mind a, a 50 caliber bullet how, into the rotors. Will how how far it. can you Well, we it. can shoot that easily, but... The second we take a shot, they're not taking us with them. Yeah. So that's... They need to believe that we were MIA and are just coming home grateful sons of your U.S. of A. Uh, that is the only way they will take us back. They will not take a man of our skills, put us in a city alone, if they suspect we will make noise. Well... Hmm. Would it be easier to poss to convince them of our nobler intentions, saying that if it was coming from you? Well, basically what he's saying is that if it comes to shooting war, there's still a chance for you to pull it off, but you got to pay them because you're not going to get an helicopter. Yeah. Uh, but if they if you can do it with threats and deception alone yeah. and keep it from gunfire, they might take them with them. Okay. Depending on your skill checks. Okay. So we'll do that. Uh, uh, yeah, we'll we'll pay. Yeah, if it comes to that, we will uh, pay out. Pay, so. Yeah, pay out half. Um, so okay. Um, so now we can do go with the negotiation. Uh, yes. So you need to contact the THQS. Right. So here's what I'll say. Uh, your current job was thirty nine. Yeah. Uh, out of character, I will say that they are willing to pay you a hundred. That means twenty five each. Uh, way more than that. Yeah. However, uh, if you don't get that, it's going to be cut. 
So you'll be cut in half because somebody will be taking, a sniper will be taking the other half. Masada doesn't want pay. Apparently he's pretty well to do, with the exception for the fact that he's trapped in a foreign country behind a zombie wasteland hard part. Yeah. Uh, he'll be okay. Uh, he finds it distasteful. Uh, so he, he is negating pay if he can just get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Uh, so that will be it. So you can either clear half the 25. So you'd be clearing, uh, what is that? 12, 12, and, a half, 12 and a half bounty a piece. Um, and that's still more than you'd make splitting 39 between four yeah. of you. Uh, or you can clear 25 each, which is a retirement plan step. Uh, which we will do next week or okay. later, depending how quickly this ends. Uh, we didn't get a chance to that to that character creation. Yeah. So uh, that's not legit. Yeah. Yes. All right. Uh, that's a big payout, uh, considering what you can buy with it. So, all right. Uh, you tell Cyber Lefevers to contact him. Right? Do you want him to send the message, or do you want him to just open up a line with you? Uh, have him send a message, message, but let us watch or monitor. yeah to monitor to see if what he's sending to make sure it's legit, yeah. and also he's not incriminating us or yeah. All right, there's a long string of encryption codes, uh, and then there is a, a message. Uh, it is pretty painstakingly reserved. Uh, you know, mission success, mission mission. Uh, he starts pinging it constantly. Uh, you can see from the diagnostic programs you had running on your laptop that he is using the uh, secure connection. He's basically DDoSing the person <laughs> on the other side because he recognizes that they're probably not listening after five years. Yeah. Or he's desperate, whatever it is, because he doesn't want to die. Yeah. Uh, or it could just be it's a glitchy fucking program with part of a human brain decaying in it. But. Uh, he's just basically spam emailing the DHQS until someone sends the verify code. We're, we're back online. Would you like to get, uh, press on this? Would you back online? <laughs> what would you like to know about emulated mind states? So that goes on for uh, about five minutes, uh, and then uh, it stops, and an email pops up, and then more text pops up, and they ask you, "What does it say? What does it say?" Okay. So it's it's an email. Oh, so I have to. It, they can't read it. So yeah. I'll pull it up. Oh, yeah. What does it say? Uh, it is a uh, who is this? Question mark. Uh, we uh, are a group of. Uh, we found your project. Would you? Uh, it's still running. Would you want to get it back? What is it worth to you? So that's what you type in. Yeah, yeah. Should we send this? Should we send this? Yes. Yes. So it sends it back. Yeah. Uh, and it says, uh, how did you get access to this site? Uh, it doesn't matter. We're here. Uh, we are willing to, uh, if you want it, uh, you need to pay us. Come out here and get it. Uh, we also have, uh, some help, uh, but we also, we can also sweeten the deal. We have some people, some very highly talented snipers who would like to come back. Uh, they would be willing to, uh, yeah, so. Okay, there is a long wait time. Yeah. Uh, all of you roll self-control. You've done a lot of work on this, but this yeah. might hurt your stress. Like, this is a tit situation. Ten over two. I fail. Take a stress, one stress. Double eights. All right, so when I get to five, Critical what happens? Success, huh? Natural double eights? Yeah. Then it's, uh, then you're fine. Yeah. Hey. Ten over nine. I'm sweating it, but I'm keeping it together. Yeah, so it's just one stress, because okay. it's just a long, anxious wait in a tiny concrete room with right. the sound of server heat. <laughs> Suddenly you're like, nuclear launch detected. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well. You get a message back. Yeah. Uh, Lefevre's and Buffy. What does it say? What does it say? Hold on. Hold on. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, uh, we are interested. Uh, we will be willing to pay. Uh, on the assumption that you're using the currency of the land, a uh, hundred bounty upon delivery of the site and confirmation of its asset. But access is more important than recovery of resources. I need to know where you got the information. Once we get there, and then we can make a deal. <laughs> yeah, but we'll sell our money. Yeah, so uh, otherwise yeah. it's OPSEC. Yeah. Uh, you have ex wife of the fevers. Uh, contacted us to get revenge. She thinks her husband is still in here. 
and wanted us to put, upload a casualty into it. Which we have not. We have make not sure done. Make that it is intact. Yeah, this is, it, All right, she's uh, crazy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, that's fine. Uh, so you best step back. In seconds, you get a response. Yeah. Uh, you have the contact information. Remain, maintain radio silence until we arrive. Okay. Uh, right. They show up with Apaches. I'm gonna be very upset. <laughs> they, they, will, they will show up with what they show up with. Yeah. Uh, so it, it goes dark. <laughs> yeah. Uh, what did it say? What did it say? What's happening? What's happening? They're coming to help. They're you. coming to. Yeah, they're coming to confirm project stability. They're coming to take you away. Huh? They're coming to help you. Ho ho. <laughs> will we have bodies? Will we have bodies? Uh, I don't know. We don't. We don't so have. We're, we're too class, low. It's we, classified. We don't have the. So we don't have the class, uh, clearance. You will to know. be debriefed. They are very. In, they they want to protect you. Ho ho. He yes. Ha ha. <laughs> Smiley face. Emojis. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be all right. Well, you'll see all the rabbits up on the cyber farm. <laughs> uh, yeah. So don't give it a cyber puppy. Yeah. Uh, why did we do this? Why did we do this? Why did we threaten ourselves? Why did we do this? Why do we want to live? Why it just kind of spirals off. Uh, you start realizing something. Yeah. They don't like to read things because it's not reading things. Yeah. There's no passing their eyes over it if they're real. Yeah. There's no processing it as central information and then using that as cognitive information. It's like if reading were a spike and the only way to get the information were to stab it into your head. Uh... They also probably think they're just kind of talking to themselves at this point, if they're real, because they have no way to determine your voices from their own. Yeah. Because it's all just binary in the end, as they have no sensory input. Oh, wow. So, or it could just be a glitchy fucking program, so, you know, whatever. Uh, anyways. <laughs> Still horrifying. Uh, you go out with the snipers. Uh, now, are you going to try and guess where they're going to land? And sure. be in position? Or are you going to just oh, try check? and keep them It'll on be their foresight. feet? It'll be definitely be foresight. Damn it. I'll spend yeah. a mox. Uh, uh, fate. Or will. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. and it's, it's blatantly ripped off, so yeah. go ahead and refer uh, to it. A uh, fate of mox it will. Uh, Fade of Moxie will. Yeah. All right. It sounds like a drug. Fade of Moxie will. Side effects, man. Anal leakage. <laughs> <laughs> I said <see>. mild euphoria. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, you know that with the river, uh, that on the uh, western side of the river, yeah. uh, there is a higher area, which is an open plain, uh, and that is likely where they're going to land. Uh, if all of them land, uh, they don't have to all land. They could easily keep someone hovering over you with Gatling guns and rockets. Uh, so, yeah. Okay. But it would be hard, like, I mean, depending on how many people are going, it would be hard to evac if... If the snipers are going to go at the... Anybody who's going to go for after the helicopter needs to be very far away from the dam and then come in. Yeah. Okay. Well, I will explain, point that out. You know, hey, geography is a, I don't think it's limitations of where they can land. So, uh, I trust Masada will arrange his uh, men. Uh, we'll need to know what's going on at the dam. Uh, How will you communicate with us? Uh, Ubik? I don't have specs. No, I just do. Um, uh, do you have an extra radio? All right. He takes his yeah. specs. How are we going to communicate with him? I My, he has specs. Oh, and yeah. I have my laptop, so, so I can. Hopes my yeah. laptop, so I can. Oh, yeah, so you make sure. Are you tell me? I'd like those back when we're done. Oh, I, we're getting twenty five bounty. You can. David can buy. Uh, Dan will buy. <laughs> we'll buy a new one. <laughs> yeah. All right, they go hustling off into the woods at scary speeds. Yeah. Uh, you are left there to wait. What do you guys talk about? Uh, scary stories to tell in the dark. No, <laughs> opposite of that. This is actually a really well designed dam. Really Have you heard of the lawnmower man? Uh, no, no one's heard of that. It's, uh, it's been lost. You're right. It's a very well designed dam. I mean, it stood the test of time. Well, uh, it's not that. It's, well, it's not that old, but uh, clearly the entire soundtrack full metal. Well, well, small. Do you want to get on that? <laughs> no. You you smash your head. <laughs> Where are you going? I haven't heard it. <laughs> No we fraggle should, rock. We should survey this. I now. think I should. I think I should get a, a, a will back for unintentionally oblivious. No. Let's talk about t-shirts, man. No. Like I'm thinking one. I'm thinking like 
we should come back here in a year or two to see if they've. Uh, oh spread. yes, somebody could follow a spot into danger if they want to get Will for the big, uh, big conflict to come. Do what? Somebody want to do something stupid to enhance their character concept to get a Will back for the big uh, DHQS meeting? They could do that. Uh, no. <laughs> how many? How much will do you have left? I have one. I'm going to start pointing out all of the different ways Fatal. that we can get killed off in this thing. <laughs> so fatalism? Fatalism. Uh, if you do it to the point where everyone makes humanity check, they'll give you a will. Yes. <laughs> it's a payback for uh, <laughs> fucking him over anyway. Uh, all right. It is. Uh, everyone make a self-control check. Yeah. Uh, I'm good. Critical. 11 over 5. Yeah. All right. Uh, <laughs> Finally, make one. David manages not to fuck anybody up into a uh, yeah. breaking. The fact we're probably, or I guess we're kind of like, uh, yeah, uh, invest an MP3 player for when David. Cares so, to what talk. fatalistic things do you say to calm the worry of everyone? I think Rust Cole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't worry. Get my Lone Star beer out. <laughs> Folk art. <laughs> would die a lot faster than we would by the casualties. You know the casualties would gnaw us limb from limb, but at least with the DHQS, it'd be so quick we'd barely even know it happened. There would be a rocket that would explode, that would kill all of us in a fiery crash. There'd be like, hey, gunfire from afar. That, hey, Gatling gun, cut us all into pieces. That might prevent Especially me, you. That might prevent me from succumbing. That'd be mm-hmm. great. Yeah. Oh, oh, you're definitely getting headshot. These are your coworkers. Or rocketed. Headshot or rocket? Maybe both. Can we next time our next job be a little not as fucking crazy as this one? <laughs> well, like, you know, a good I'll idea say, like, when I, the I helicopters admit. show up, we might want to scoot away from him just a little bit. Actually, I will admit this is flashes. actually one of the crazier jobs we've ever done. This is the craziest job anyone has done in the history of. Well, there was well there was that one. You know, we can never talk about it. You realize? Wait, that. was there ever? <laughs> like, can we ever can we recall a job even weirder than this? No, <laughs> that anyone. So people like heisted vegetables once. That was kind of weird. <laughs> uh, but nobody's. I heard about that. The technology. Technology that isn't supposed to exist yet. Uh, yeah. Well, there's that cold fusion theft I heard about. That happened right before the fall. <laughs> so, and it was completely unrelated. Yeah. Uh, uh, yes. All right, so that's well, good. So you all have a reason to complain if Moth's on your next taking shift. Yeah. yeah. Do. Like when you look at the schedule and Moth's with the guy with you. Like, God <laughs> damn it. <laughs> ah. Four days of bitching about the destiny of the universe. Well, at least we got those goddamn crayons. Have you thought about how you're going to sanitize them? <laughs> I know what to do. Do um, you? Actually, would I? That's like, would I have ac- Ubic access uh, back to the? Uh, well, it's like back to the college to check up on the radio station. What? Uh, yeah. So since it's like been a while, what, what, what replacement DJ do they have on their? Actually, house? that's a good Someone. question. Someone who plays music that they want. Actually, I'll tune into the radio station to. Uh, it's an automated playlist because you know people need to farm, not to die, <laughs> and DJs are not well loved in the meritocracy. It's not a. Yeah. Hey, this is something I'm doing, and also without my voice, but I have my <laughs> job recording voice. Your job by a playlist. Your job wasn't yeah, that important. You, yes, iPod Shuffle can do your job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, look, iPod Shuffle brought up the Cupid Shuffle. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, I guess. Well, I guess it'd be like. Actually, playing. no. We're we're playing that music. Spin a charge on your, on your laptop. We're playing. It's playing that country. Can I get a will back? Because I'm, I'm no, still, I'm it's still. not hurting you. It's just. What was that guy in who actually lives in the ruins of the skyscraper who wanted? It was some kind of country music, right? We did for the researching for the oh uh, yeah so, first session. So oh yeah, the guys that, that who was lived up at Steel the, Bean. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, Steel yeah. Bean. Steel yeah, what did he? What, it was some country music. I can't remember the name of the artist. That's what's playing. Uh, Conway Twitty. Conway Twitty. Conway Conway Twitty. Yeah. Oh yeah, I needed to the find sweet Conway playing Twitty. of Conway Twitty. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll see if we can negotiate with the government well, for that in a Conway, Conway Twitty. No, no. Do it on your own time. I know like. All right, fair enough. All right, all right. Go get to our music collection. We carry into combat. Yes. 
<laughs> I'm sorry, man. It's sir, a, uh, he's like, it's only Vietnam music here. We haven't like, updated the like, chapter. Like, sir, I'm afraid all we have in there currently is Barry Manilow. Yeah. <laughs> Just all along the watchtower, I repeat. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> screw that. At least ch- Dude, spend me the charge. Where's the Fogner? <laughs> Flight of the Valkyries. Spend the charge. Can I do a, uh, see if I can actually... The missiles actually make that sound when they come out. That's standard issue. <laughs> actually, that was the one thing I should have checked. Thanks, Boeing! <laughs> what an age to be alive! <laughs> oh. I should actually have checked the database to see if it had a music playlist and it just... Alright, we are descending into Fraggle Rock, so... Uh... <laughs> you left us alone for too long. I left you asked alone for too long. I need to really come up with that interlude system yeah. before we play again. <laughs> uh, Alright, uh, so... Overhead, you see a copter rip by you. Uh, it seems small attack craft, and then you see two much larger helicopters uh, coming by. They don't appear to be equipped for carrying people. Uh, they are covered in rockets and guns, and they one hovers on the lake side, and one hovers on the dam side, dam side where the water's flowing off, and they. And they just kind of stay there. This is a good idea. Yeah, so everyone rolls self control. I don't know what critical is. Fuck. God damn it, I failed. Oh, it is totes a critical. What uh, is it? Is it stress or or is it trauma? This is going to be trauma because they can do a lot of trauma. Yeah, that's at least one. You have two trauma. I rolled double twos. I think I'm surprisingly fine with this. Just what was I telling you? Gun, guns, <laughs> yeah, rockets, it'll be rockets, so rockets, quick. Be <laughs> fine. I told you guys. Like, we'll barely even feel like, it. I had a fear of helicopters from my childhood. <laughs> <laughs> my father was killed by a helicopter. <laughs> you don't have to have an ancestral fear of helicopters. Like, it was a zombie helicopter. <laughs> Uh, my father was John Woo. My father was a dragon. He was killed. God damn it. D War. All right, so um, a man comes walking out of the woods. Uh, he is. You you'd say combat hipster. It's odd. He's got a pork pie hat on of civilian age. Uh, uh, really gross neck beard. Seems pretty in shape, but bad. Uh, he's wearing skinny jeans underneath his flak jacket, combat, and he's carrying a messenger bag. Uh, not what you expected to see. Uh, and he comes to skip it and walking up the dam over to you. Uh, he makes a up signal and the helicopters circle around and gain altitude. They're not leaving, but he doesn't want to scream. Uh, Did you create him for maximum revulsion? I don't <laughs> even know what that is, so no. Uh, so, uh, he arrives. Hey! Uh, hello. Hello. Who's in charge here? Uh, we uh, Talk to me. Uh, we So yeah, we, we found out what it is. Uh, our- Sorry, you gotta have to put your guns down. Yeah. For obvious reasons. Uh... <laughs> Don't worry. Uh, yeah, we're all we're all civilized around here. Um, but uh, we found out what it is. But our client's crazy. And we figured uh, it, this would be better off in the hands of people who would appreciate it and have deeper pockets. Well, yeah. Before we can get started uh, talking about when we need to start, uh, we need to talk about that access issue. Yeah. Like I said, uh, the people who I work for, whoever they may be. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's above you know what I'm talking yeah. about. <laughs> anyway, uh, they really need to be. Concerned that they're covered before we move any further. So, could you just call this person for a second? Uh, under what? Any particular pretense? Uh, just keep them talking for a second. Okay. Uh, pull the laptop. Hey there. There was a flash drive. Plug that in, why don't you? Just do it. You can get you a new one. <sighs> this format, You can format the drive, yeah. Yeah, well, you, yeah you can buy a brand new laptop with the money you're going to be making. With money. anime stickers. Yeah. Mm. You're gonna rule. You're gonna have the least lag in Barter Town, or whatever the fuck you people do. You'll be the bell of the ball with your new laptop. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, uh, who's gonna talk to Rebecca Lefevre? Oh, all right. So pull the laptop up. Yeah, I do. Actually, why don't you let me talk to her? I can. Keep... I still have a point of will. I have two. Okay. 
Uh, all right. Yeah, don't worry. He did try to fuck you all over. Yeah, that's with true. your stress checks. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, there was that. So yeah, fuck, fucking. Yeah, no. So he's walking, talking to her. Uh, well, wait. Can I make a foresight check to figure out a way to keep her on the line through technical questions? Like, oh, running into technical problems. Is Actually, it... I know exactly what we're gonna do. We're going to. Uh, I mean, I make it. So, would there be a good foresight thing? Uh, yeah, you you could tell her how caption casually went. There's any number yeah. of things. It's not that difficult to lie to her at this point because yeah, yeah. she doesn't know anything's going on. Okay, I mean, it's just better just to keep her on the line. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's just technical. So, uh, hello, uh, hello. Sorry, uh, we've been silent for a while. The uh, rocket dropped the casualty a bit of a ways away. We had to hike and grab it, and for some reason, the thing wanted to run away from us instead of running towards. It's weird, but the, they never did that back in the crash. Yeah, they always. Normally, all you have to do is just bang two things together, and they'll come so running towards you. What's that noise in the background? That's oh, that, the turbines. <laughs> turbines of the dam. Oh, oh, okay. So you it went through the procedure. You you managed to hold it still. It's going through right now. We want to make sure. Uh, can you give us some what? I don't know if this is working or not. Can you give me some idea of like what I should be looking for in the diagnostic screen? Uh, I mean, I'm reading uh, anything like that. Uh, okay. okay. Uh, well, I got the notes, so let me. Okay. I just found it in a box, so yeah. give me a second. So she, you know, she's looking through the notes and yeah, that kind of stuff. I look. So at it's it. been about 45 seconds. Yeah. The uh, steward guy is just like looking around, like you're looking at the river. Just uh, wait. Is he looking at us? <laughs> uh, you are all watching. Uh, yeah. So you two wanted to talk. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Good for you. Real self-control. All right. Uh, yes. I'm fine. Eight How over are seven. you? Eight over seven. So uh, you see this poor woman on her webcam, you know, yeah. seeking revenge, going through her house. Uh, you hear a knock on the door. Oh, I can't be on for this. I have to go. Uh, then you hear a crash, uh, yeah. a oh. scream. Yeah. You see balaclava men with uh, tasers come in. Yeah. Uh, she starts screaming. Yeah. Uh, and no. Uh, and then uh, you hear foot, foot. Yep. And a balaclava man walks over. And says, uh, threat assessment contained, consonant down. Turns off the website. Uh, you two get to roll self control now. <laughs> no, I was expecting that. I thought it was going to be Missile Strike, actually. Yeah. That goes to the market. Take two to detachment. He got out a piece of gum as it was happening. Not to a crack yet, but that's good. <laughs> Keep in mind, she was willing to inflict a fate worse than death on her husband. Her already right. possibly dead husband who cheated and neglected on her for years. Fate worse than death. Yeah, you're right. No, you were totally had... justified. That's why you passed that humanity check. And she would have killed us. She would have sent guys to kill us when she found out we betrayed her. <laughs> there is that. Was... That is some epic <laughs> rationalization. <laughs> She's evil because she'd fight back after we inevitably betrayed her. <laughs> For the job that we were hired. We had no choice yes. but to do that. <laughs> she had money to That's hire us. That's some Bran Rourke level <laughs> shit right there. That's some next level <laughs> rationalization. Good job. Unspooling the right. uh, headphones. Yeah. I'll be here for a while. <laughs> All right, that works. Uh, so why shouldn't they gun you down into bloody mist? Uh, well, do you see this? You know what this normally goes to? Uh, I don't know. It's a bo- It goes to a bomb collar, but the bomb collar is connected to a door jam. The door jam is connected to the turbine. We do. Oh, that. so that's what you have down in the turbines? Uh, yes. So why shouldn't they just gun you down and then we go disarm that? Uh, because well, uh, can you do that before I push the button? And two, we also have other backup. Remember the snipers we made? We're friends with them, and they do want to go home. But if you shoot us, they'll know you're no one's going home. So you don't know where they are, and they have big guns, and they can start taking down helicopters, including rotor blades, including those big gunships. Don't look like they can carry a lot of people. Ah, yes, the invisible snipers. Yeah. The old invisible sniper trick. They taught us back at the academy. 
Uh, all right, where are these magic snipers? <laughs> so at this point, someone needs to get on the horn with Masada and convince him to do what he needs to do. So, so yeah. this is a leadership test. Oh, David. David. Can, can you guide him in? Yeah. To uh, plant a bomb on the helicopter and not die. Yeah. Or can you not do that and you just want to tell him to shoot? You don't have to roll just to have him shoot. But you got to roll roll leadership to convince him that we got this under control. Sneak through a field of grass and plant an explosive on a helicopter that's armed by guards. That's a no joke. That would be a 12 over 8 on the leadership test. All right. Uh, Then he's like, all right, in route. Hold him on. It's going to take a little bit. But, you know, there we... I believe it was Kierkegaard. One thing is, you uh, I don't see any technicians or scientists with you. You do know if you turn the power off, like you unplug those, you could damage the data in there. So uh, unless you have some sort of uninterruptible power supply, you might have to make multiple trips. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know shit, man. Well... I'm the, I'm the human resources guy here. <laughs> so, for example, as a human, do you have the resources to blow up a dam you're standing on while you have two helicopters Training Gatling guns on you, ready to turn you into mist. So uh, he is trying to gauge you. So yeah. he is. Uh, can you intimidate him or lie to the point where he believes you will do it? Since you're holding the Decept- button, he doesn't give a shit. About Actually, him. can I possibly pull up another deception check? Uh, do- nope. Or it's just a he has the button. Okay. Like he says, he's, he's not the technical right. guy. Well, he's the-, the guy who's asshole enough to do the job. Yeah. Well, uh, I will spend my last will to flip that. So, 9 over 4. So how do you prove that, yep. <laughs> um, we also rig this. Well, I know I stand up right next to him. I have the, the, the button, you know, just sort of uh, held in my hands. Mm-hmm. Well, you're here too. I assume you're not suicidal. So, uh, I've been out here for years, and I hear them screaming at night. Uh, and you know, one of my best friends is a Layton. <laughs> we don't really give a shit either. <laughs> Get rich, get rich or die try. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, sounds fair. Uh, all right. Well, oh, you seem pretty tough, but <laughs> Gatling guns are pretty tough. And then he gets a he gets a message. Wow, <laughs> man, invisible snipers. We make interesting team. friends. I didn't know they taught you OPSEC at an architectural college. <laughs> and that was uh, we have books. School of Hard Knocks. How's Abigail doing, by the way, Malleus? Good. <laughs> we got her some crayons. <laughs> Roll <motherfucker>. self-control. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Just a lucky guess. <laughs> this is fine. <laughs> uh, yeah, so... Okay, wow, that's pretty impressive. Um... <laughs> The thing to keep in mind about everyone can win or everyone can lose is that they've been no no I, I like what you're saying uh, so he opens up his messenger bag uh, he empties it out yeah uh, just a bunch of people's IDs okay uh, blood stained gore stained still wet oh god who gives a shit come on <laughs> uh, you else. don't know where he got those but yeah. he's not keen to tell you uh, wow the brutalist huh yeah it's been a while since we have any talents in this area uh, so Hmm. Uh, and that's the sniper move. We could we could use them. I mean, <laughs> those those collars aren't just for you, right, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, uh, we'll be in touch. And, uh, uh, what do we call you? A Mister You. Mister You. Okay. Uh, we're everywhere out here. So uh, if I'm in the area, I will call on you, and you will answer. Uh, looking forward to doing business with you, Sunshine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Enjoy your laminates. Yeah. <laughs> Have a fun walk back home. Yes. But he seems pleasant. Can you also, <laughs> can you spring for the alcohol? Builds so we character. Can, <laughs> can you also spring for the alcohol so we can douse these before we? No, we up? have we have the latent. Let's use it. <laughs> Touch the gross things, Layton. <laughs> the vision of labor. <laughs> like, well, like I actually didn't have to hit anything with the hammer, so yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. He walks off. Yeah. Uh, uh, Masada comes on. Yeah. Uh, sorry, I'm keeping your specs. <laughs> yeah. Shit happened. Thanks. 
Uh, helicopter pulls away. Yeah. Uh, so they're they're flying off. Yeah. We were uh, running to cover. Yes. They 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 leave off. Uh, all of you can roll one last awareness check. Hey, I made it. Yes, ten over one. Flipping that. Nine over nine. nine over. Actually, yeah, nine over one. All right. Does everyone make it? Yeah. Yes. Everyone make a self control check. Oh god. Ooh, double two. Six over four. Ah, eleven over three. Uh, so mm-hmm. you are pulling away. Uh, you see the helicopter go away. Uh, then it circles back without the escort. Mm-hmm. Uh, as you look behind you, you see it hovering over the dam. Uh, they're apparently going to bring people back to do the big routine. Uh, they start dropping bodies out of it into the river. They look familiar. One's a big, bushy bearded guy. Uh, they all hit the river. And they, they pull away. They don't need snipers that bad. But Jesus. So yeah. Uh, so with your success, you all have twenty-five bounty. Uh, good job. <laughs> uh, you've opened two job lines. So through your moral fortitude uh, in resisting the machine in part two, you opened the job line with the Greeley Slaughterhouse guys. Uh, so they will always have a job for you without a network contest. If you want to go over there, you can complete that part of the mini campaign. The jobs are linear, and it makes up for a story relating to the Enclave. On the Jesus. So what, what was that one called? Uh, the Greeley Slaughterhouse Crew. Uh, I need to come over. I have a... Greeley. I have a... Hold on. I've got... Welcome to the Jungle is the name of the quest line. Welcome to... Hi. Headed by Mr. Sinclair. Mr. Upton Sinclair. Okay. And what was the other one? Uh, oh. With your <laughs> decidedly less moral yeah. uh, subline, uh, you opened up the quest line Better Late Than Never. Uh, and that is a quest line from the DHQS. So anytime you want a high paying, morally, morally dubious job, you can talk to the DHQS because you you got spunk, kid. Yeah, uh, you got spunk. <laughs> so yeah, that was uh, that was the game. That was uh, the impossible closure. Uh, something happened with a computer you know somewhere. Some men died, okay. and you didn't get shot, and nothing really physical happened to you. So it's mostly mental. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. you just. And we watch guys executed from a helicopter. <laughs> executed from a helicopter. Uh, Masada. <laughs> well, yeah. No more American snipers. You can't look for them. That job line is closed. Yes. Fair enough. Uh, hey, one well, us. We did not betray. Well, they, uh, so in the future, you can make a networking test for a one shot. Yeah. You can go to a job line and get a job. Yeah. Uh, you have two options. So those are the first jobs of each job line will available to you. Or you could design a score for the next game. Uh, so, well, out of character. Uh, question, yeah, questions, comments, reactions. Um, no, I really like yeah. I like the idea of redoing the negotiations, opening it up again during a job uh, and that kind of thing. Um, and I do have to say I like the, uh, well, in this case, the on the fly, because they're not offering us bounty. It's how, mu- or how much are they willing to work with us. I like the fact that there's yeah. other things to negotiate for than just more bounty. Yeah, no, it actually it adds another element to the, the social aspect to there, and it, you know, I think that also prevents the players from going completely murder hobo in a situation where it's just fight or make a roll to see if you can do that. It adds a lot more tension to the the encounters, which I like. And something I wanted to, well, something I already mentioned on the way back uh, home the other night, but I feel it needs to be recorded. I love that the three encounters that we had along the legs of the journey. Were not all combat encounters. In fact, I said I did yeah, swing my me. hammer once. Yeah. yeah. Well, that, that'll adventure. be randomized once I can get a D10 and D100 table written. So okay, it could happen, but that's just going to be luck of the day. Yeah, that's so. fair. Uh, but I did hear you guys saying you got tired of the abrasion. Up. Yeah. And that is supposed to be an aspect, so I did yeah, give yeah. you some less abrasive options. Yeah. Uh, well, the option was there to fight on both. Or yeah, yeah, it was still there, and you guys wanted to work your way around. It, yeah, so. yeah. That won't always be the case. Sometimes yeah, you'll have to fight. But, 
Um, yeah, sometimes you'll have to do the. Do this, have to do so, I mean, out of character. What about that lion job that you mentioned? Uh, that's oh. still a, that's still around. Okay. Uh, that, what was that again? Again? Uh, what was he? The lions of Chicago. Okay. Do we know what the? You don't have a network, so that's a one-shot. Okay. That's okay. not a job. One. Okay. Uh, the lines of Chicago. So here is a big list of jobs I have Ooh. written up in the notebook. Some are job lines, some are one-shots. So yeah, but this is about all you need I, to yeah improv a job once the D ten and D hundred tables are written up. Yeah, because you can kind of improv it once you know the setting. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and that's the point, so that you can have you can pick your scenario in the moment and negotiate for it, rather than you know know that like yeah I can't violate the premise of the game because right. then we don't play tonight because there's not a lot of I have to stand up this monster to do that thing. The yeah. dice pretty much create all the opposition on the fly. Um, so far, every job that we've done has been nice and inventive. I mean, on all of the play tests, I yeah. liked. Yeah. Protecting the musicians in the one, the great vegetable heist was awesome. <laughs> so you guys know what you want to do next week if you want to do a job line or if you want to do a one shot or if you want to do a score. Well, we I can read design that a sheet. score. Yeah. Uh, what sheet? The oh I thought you said the oh that's your oh, yeah. that's fine sheet. I thought that was um, another handout. Okay, no, I misunderstood. Well, but I, I have stuff pre written. Okay. So. Um also you mentioned the first sitting up the first tier for retirement as well, since we Yeah, up. so we could set up your retirement plans. That's yeah. important for long term play. We skipped that. Oh, uh, by the way, uh, so we get back crayons for my Yes. Uh you will you can that could be your vignette scene. So uh, at your vignette scene at the start of the next game, you explain how you're eroding the horrible humanity tab which you got from the last game. Yeah. So are you coloring with her? Like, is that how you're oh, yeah. receiving your sanity back? Because that could be your vignette, and then you just spin bounty to clear the rest. <laughs> like, We're going to go a date with Isabel from the, the Greeley Slaughterhouse. Like, <laughs> she got <laughs> Miles <laughs> Van Der Robo. Like, that's, you know. No, if you add charm, yeah. you could add contacts. So, yeah, yeah. Like, add dependents. So. Yeah. Um, yeah, so uh, in game upkeep, I want to keep as much of this homework as possible. Yeah. So I will send out what I have of the draft so far. For the uh, how we spin our bounty and stuff? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay. You can write quick notes if you don't want to look at the whole thing. I'll be the, I'll be the richest guy in the, in the Layton slum. <laughs> you would be that with four three months. other guys. Yeah. <laughs> Living in your containers. <laughs> uh, I got good. I got some air fresheners. Ha <laughs> I am the new. Alright, your skill costs the level it's at. So if you want to buy one point of a skill, it's one right. bounty. If you want to buy two, so you want to up from one to two, you need to spend two bounty. If you want to make it a three, you need to spend three bounty. Your cap is five, but your potential is your real cap, okay? You can never have yeah. a potential above five, uh, but your potential costs ten each. Dang. So one point of potential is ten bounty. Because so, it ups your derived stats and it ups all your skills, so... Oh, it does? Yeah, because okay. once you well, once you hit a potential of two, you yeah. can buy everything up to two. Oh, you can buy. It doesn't yeah. bump it up. No, it doesn't. Well, we also need to pay for our, our upkeep on everything else as well. Probably. Oh, yeah, <laughs> and all your upkeep... Uh, so, uh, yeah, you might as well just calculate your upkeep now. Let's see what we got. So, what's your break points? Sacrifice that from your 25. Break points. And break point is equal to the number of detached or dependence. dependence plus two. So, five. So, five goes away for you because you have three dependents. Okay. But if your dependents aren't needy, you can hear three columns worth of humanity. So you probably don't have any humanity damage left. Actually, so. I don't. That takes yeah, care of all. And nobody's at needy on me, so... So, yeah, if you... I have one who's at the strained, so is that two points? That'd be two bounty to... That's a reference, though. So oh, yeah, you don't right. have to pay references back. You can fuck them over, but they're okay. going to talk to you. So, so I have one dependent, so my break point is three. Yeah. So, but since they are not needy, I can get detachment or stress back. Or what was it? Okay. Well, how many dependents do you have? Two. So, erase a column for the first one. Okay. Straight up and down. So, yeah, so, detachment, trauma, and stress, everything in that column goes away. Okay. If there's nothing, you just erase an empty shot. That's yeah. fine. And then you could do it again because your second one's not needy. Okay, so. High charm is high cost, but high reward at the end. 
to keep you stable. So yeah, keep you I have one full column, but that's I'm okay with that. I can um, put a column up and down. So yeah, yeah. straight and you up. Go from and down. the right, so your highest okay. one goes. Yeah, away. so I, each highest one goes uh, away. Yeah, it was this, and that. so I'm just down to one. What do you mean? Where were you at? I have. I was question. at. Two, I had three columns detachments. are up and down. Yeah, and I had the, three detachments, so I erased the two detachments. Yeah, he's so. got to erase the two detachments. If and there's nothing under so. them, they go away. Yeah, okay. so I, I was doing it right. So. All right. So the only upkeep that I have left is for my pistol. Or any that. equipment you have. So the only hammer add all your circles together. The hammer is still pristine. Yeah. Well, the other piece of equipment I had was my Ubix specs, and they're gone. They are gone. You don't have to pay upkeep on that. Very good. You but have I to buy them, so upkeep times two if you want to buy new gear. That's the actual cost of gear in the game. So okay. you get it for what you get it for us for upkeep at character creation. But in the game, it's upkeep time. So okay, um, to replace the ones that I lost, um, they have an upkeep of three, so that would be That'd six. That'd be six. Okay, and do I still get the qualities that I had on them, or do I have to? You have to rebuy the upgrades. How much does it cost to upgrade? And uh, each of the quality? upgrades is what one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so how much does it take to upgrade a quality? Uh, upgrades are one bounty apiece. Okay. So if I remove hungry, that's one bounty. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 Uh, so anything you buy will be upkeep times two, uh, and then just tell me how much you have left, and then that's for character growth. So each reference is one point, right? That we tapped. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So for two for me. Two. So. Clear your reference. Oh mm-hmm. yeah. Right. So you could use that reference again, but since he's not needy, you can yeah. pick a different reference if they're more contextual. Yeah. I got. I got to pay rock. So the library guy for like. I need to know how to unjam a 50 caliber. Like, yeah. if he's the only reference on your sheet, uh, 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 I, I don't know. Uh, but if you cleared him, you could talk to somebody else you know, because you pay all your debts and people answer your calls. Uh, so, yeah. Okay, so after mm. pay- buying back the Ubik, paying off my upkeep, yeah. break even, and paying off the reference, I still have 15. So that's what you could use for character advancement, or you can move it towards your retirement plan. Okay. okay. But my strength um, up to four. One question. That's training montage of like lifting, sa- you know, sa- you know, salvage. Wait, it's <laughs> ten <laughs> per thing, right? Or is it just a flat ten per? Ten per point of potential. So your strength was three? Mm-hmm. So it cost you 40 to raise it up? No, no, oh, it's no, just, no, it's just ten flat. Okay. Skills stack. Okay. Uh, right. Right. Like shirtless black thing. <laughs> After plus five, there's not really much point in buying more. Oh my god! Because okay. it's yeah. you, really, you basically have to crit fail. Yeah. You know what? Blatant so, beefcake photo shoot. Uh, that's a fetish. Uh, I'm sure it probably is. All right. And once we pay the upkeep, the charges reset. Right? All right. I guess we can stop for mm-hmm. now. Yeah. yeah. Right. So yeah, up. Yeah, homework. Yay! Yay. All right. See you guys next time.